Well, earlier today, NASA gave an update on the Artemis II mission, which will send a crew around the moon for the first time in 50 years. Yeah, and our own Amanda Holly was at Kennedy Space Center today for this announcement and talked with the astronauts who will fly on the mission. The crew of the Artemis II mission will fly almost 6,000 miles beyond the moon inside this Orion capsule right here. That's deeper into space than any human has been before. After being the first crew to launch on top of NASA's powerful SLS rocket, they will spend 10 days in space and they couldn't be more excited. I'm excited that we are doing this. I'm excited that it's going to lead to an Artemis campaign that's going to put people back on the moon in a sustained fashion. We're going to take that and what, what we learned there and go on to Mars. That's what I'm excited about. The astronauts will live inside this Orion capsule behind me. It'll be the only thing protecting them from the harsh elements of space for an almost 10 day mission. Although they won't land on the moon, they will be busy. I think the biggest thing for our crew is setting the stage for our colleagues in Artemis 3 and 4, doing everything we can to make sure the Orion spaceship is ready for humans, is ready to go complete the, the follow-on missions. They are excited, but they do know this mission is not without risk. I worry for the sake of my kids, for my family, and for the sake of the program. Anything could go wrong. But I know that these teams have developed this spaceship with layers of redundancy. Artemis 2 is currently scheduled to launch late next year. If all goes well, it'll pave the way for the next historic missions, Artemis 3 and Artemis 4, which will land humans on the moon. Reporting from Kennedy Space Center, Amanda Holly, 8 on your side.